Lately, I've been, I've been losing sleep, dreaming about the things that we could be. But baby, I've been, I've been praying hard. Said no more counting dollars, we'll be counting stars. Well, here we are again. Welcome back to part two of my Sims 3 Island Paradise Let's Play. He's taking out that stupid trash. Since the maintenance people are lazy. Lazy bums that do absolutely nothing. It's like they don't even come outside. They just clean the other... They clean the hotel, but they don't actually clean the outside. It's really retarded. And we're going to go ahead and hire someone else. Oh, I guess I can't do that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hire a new employee. Go ahead and hire that guy. Or woman. I don't know what it is yet. Pretty sure that was a guy. But we're going to have him go snorkeling. Now I had a lot of issues with snorkeling, actually. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or if you have to go out a certain length away from the beach in order for it to work properly, but for me, it never really works. You know, he goes out there, he snorkels for like 10 seconds, and he's like, nope, no more snorkeling for you. And he pops back up and goes to the shore. So that's just perfect. But we're actually right near his house. His little platform that he had there. And someone delivered a newspaper there. Is that a call box? What is that? I've never seen that before. I guess that's his mailbox? I didn't see that when I first did this. Huh. I guess because I didn't even really pay attention to this because I knew he wasn't going to live on it. Maybe later, once we get some money. Some real money from this resort. What? Jet ski. Okay, let's keep going here. Yes, you're going to learn the scuba diving skill. Why do you think I have you out here? Let's see if he's going to pack up his gear and go home after like 10 seconds. Mm, he's still going. Maybe it's just a glitch I had earlier. I'm not sure. Like I said, maybe you have to go out a certain distance for it to work. In that case, I know what to do now. What the heck are you doing on my lot, sir? What What are you doing on my lot? Is that my lot? Yeah, what are you doing over here? Oh, he's taking the boat. Okay. Right away. Hopefully he'll find something soon so we can get some more money. We need money. A fish flopping around. Oh, another boat. This skill is going up really slow. I don't think it's going up at all. It's stuck, it seems. It's not going anywhere, is it? Oh, boy. Is that not going anywhere at all? Oh, yeah, it's moving so slow, though. He's gonna be out here for the rest of the night trying to snorkel and get something. By the way, his name is Marcus Gaines. He's a young adult since I didn't do the Create a Sim video. He's a workaholic, he's good, he's a genius, he's family oriented, and he's friendly. So, yeah, he's an all around nice guy that you will want to own a resort because he'd be very friendly to you as a resort owner. He'd give you refunds. You're you're already snorkeling in the ocean. What do you call this right now? I guess he found something? Oh, he found the pink flamingo thing. Huh, cool. Oh, wait, where did it go? It said he found it, but I can't see it. Did it go in my family inventory or something? Because I don't see it anywhere. Yep, there it is. Oh, it's only worth $5. Well, 
one time I found a teddy bear. It was worth 50, so I wish I had found that again. And he's hungry. And he found... Ooh, $28. Take that. Not bad. And we're gonna actually have him go back to the resort and, um... Go eat. Turn in for the night. And... Oh, he found something else before he left. That's only worth 11 but still, it's money, so... Money is money. Let's have him... Oh, he's already going there anyway, so... <laughs> Hurry up and get out of the water. Hurry up. What are you doing? Stop snorkeling. And apparently, the reviews are in... We're unprofitable by six dollars, so that's not good, but you know, we'll get things together eventually. And um the reviews are let's check them real quick. Reviews are a great way to know what you need to do in the place. This place is a joke, I paid five star prices, one dollar one star experience. How does a buffet not have something as simple as a lunch? The resort looked old and outdated. This place is new. What are you talking about? Where is a hot tub? Huh. Well, I'm a one-star resort now. That's just great. At least it's clean. Oh, all right. Some people have different opinions, so, you know, let them have their opinions. He said it looks old. Whatever, it's not old. Place was just built, people. I need to hire someone else for that front desk, because no one's popping up. We need... People there 24 7. Finances. Oh, we are unprofitable. That's not good. Oh, man. Hopefully, we'll get more people in here. Yep, there's. Oh, no, that's the. Who is that? That's somebody that should be coming to, um. Stay. Can you please go and do your job, sir? Thank you. Do your job. They're still unprofitable, and if we don't become profitable, we have to close down. And I don't want to close down, so... We have to find a way to do something to get more people in here. Hopefully more people come later on. Still 12 people. Ah oh, man. People, come to my resort, please. He wants to buy a resort buffet table. We already have one, but sure. Apparently people want more food anyway, so... Wedding, congratulations. We don't know them. Guess we'll go find something to do then. Let's go windsurfing. That, I haven't tried that yet. So we'll go windsurfing. And hopefully by the time we get back, someone will have come into the hotel. Or else we're going to have to close, and we don't want that. I keep checking the finances like every 10 seconds because I, I just want to make us profitable. We have to make money. No money means we have to close, and I don't want to close. Okay, he's going windsurfing. I want to see this. Oh, look at that. So cool. Oh, let me go to the other side. To where he is. Look at that. That's so cool. 
Does he automatically get one of those or something? I would like to know where it is so I could sell it actually, but that's pretty cool. Uh, don't go home, go back to the resort. Where is my resort? There it is. I can actually check the management from up here. We're still not making any money. We're gonna have to pay them six dollars to run the resort. Come on, one more person needs to stay there. I'm gonna have to increase prices or something. Yeah, there's a random ghost. I believe I've seen that ghost before. I think it's, yeah, her and her husband, like, haunt hotels for some reason. They just pop up out of nowhere. They actually run through your resort and everything. It's like, wow. Um, boy. We're still not making any money. So maybe we'll have to increase prices. We'll do that when we get money. For now, we don't have any money, so. Now let's look at our finances. We're making money. And actually, I can decrease prices now that more people are coming, so. You know, you want to keep prices reasonable so people actually want to stay there, so. We got 18 people now, so that's an increase from the 12. He's just standing over there doing nothing while I'm checking this. So now we're making money. We have full occupancy. Oh my goodness. Full occupancy. That's a first. That is a first. Yeah, he saw that lady's ghost and he's like, oh my gosh, it's a ghost. Pretty sure you've seen these things before, buddy. Did she jump into the table? Really? Put my food down. Lady? Clara, put my food down. People will complain that there's no food. Let's check some reviews. There's still those same reviews. What's he doing? No, you need to eat food. Eat your food. Wait, who is that? Oh, he looks like a sim I created a while ago. That's why I was like, what the heck? Who is this guy? He does actually need to talk to people. His social level is really down. He's a loner. That's why in the next episode we're going to have to go looking for a woman. Uh, resort management. Let's check our finances again. We're doing good. We're making money. Yes. We should be making quite a bit. Shake bra. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. That's so funny. This ghost is really kind of creepy. Just sitting there. What? G Pod? What the heck? That's so weird name for a book. Is he manning the buffet table? Is that what he does? Oh, he's a maintenance worker. Oh, now you want to come outside. All this trash that's been laying around outside, and now you want to come out here. Yeah, perfect timing, my friend. Perfect timing. Oh, we'll have him turn in for the night. It's actually morning now, so... And we'll just see what progresses through the night. Oh man, resort management people, really, you guys at the front desk, we need you here all day. 
could really use you. And for the last time, finances. Alright guys, I'm going to have to end it here. Please stay tuned for part 3, and see you guys later.